Hi there, welcome to part three of the interactive digital media uh, tile set design tutorial. Now, we're going to do this in about probably four parts. I'm going to actually make this one a little bit longer than my previous ones. We're going to cover two different tiles and hopefully it's going to work out great for us. So you can see that we have our original tile right here, which is our overhead grass tile. Um, and what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be taking our overhead grass tile with the edge and we're going to be creating uh, two different corners for it. We're basically creating the bottom section that can be used in various combinations for uh, for the uh, for the rest of this sort of tile set. So once again, same thing as before, hit clone. This time it went a little bit quicker and we're going to edit our clone. So First thing is always save overhead grass tile clone clone. No, that's not what we want to call it. We want to call it overhead grass tile um, edge. And then we're going to call it um, left corner. We also may put left in here. Just in case we get some naming overlap. So. This is going to be a pretty easy and quick modification. What we're basically going to be doing is, um, make sure you hit save, is just creating a little bit of a rounding effect here. So it's a pretty easy modification to do. Basic concept is you take what would kind of be your bottom. So we've got a little bit of this grass here, and we're just going to, um, we're actually going to go like this. Uh, just to create a little bit of a rounded edge. Um, it just blends it up nicely. Might put a few of these in. So this grass is getting a little higher here. And the same thing is going to happen uh, with our dirt, right? We're basically going to, uh, to round it around the corner here. So we're going to take our darker color um, and down like that. So it just creates... A little bit of a corner around here. Now the other important thing is we want to be creating a strong boundary um, also for this part of the edge and so what we're going to do is actually uh, put this darker green along here um, and uh, kind of just create a little bit sort of almost a uh, a little bit of shading there. Same thing goes with adding maybe just oops and Z, a few highlights, and uh, that'll just give us a little bit. We can do the whole thing. There we go. So that'll just give us a nice little sort of rounded edge here. Now this one's not as important to tile seamlessly here because you're actually going to be. Uh, not tiling it in this kind of a way, you'll be combining it with other tiles. And that's really it. It's a, it's a pretty simple modification, and we're actually going to do almost the exact same thing, but just opposite um, once we clone that edge tile again. I'm going to show you how it all works together once this is all finished, and we'll create kind of this nice little, uh, nice little piece. So let's go over here, uh, make sure we hit our save to gallery. We're going to go back to our gallery. So we have main grass tile, edge tile. You can actually see how they nicely kind of fit together there. That's kind of neat. Um, and we are going to clone this one again. And uh, I wish these were rearrangeable. That would be a really nice way to do this. But they aren't. So um, what we'll do is just hit edit. And we're going to basically do the exact same thing. So this make sure you save. Uh, overhead grass tile, right edge, right edge. Okay, save to your gallery. Always save first and then save again. Um, so same thing, it's gonna yeah, I kind of like that. They don't have to be exactly the same. 
um, obviously, because uh, every one of these things is unique. But let's make sure we do put our sort of shadow there and make sure we get our nice sort of shadow here as well, just to give it a nice sort of rough feel. Also making sure to still throw in a couple of highlights. Okay, that looks good to me. That took all of a few seconds. Um, there we go. Don't want to throw too much of a highlight there. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, our second corner piece done. And uh, we can now save it. Save to our gallery. And that's one more thing done. So the next thing we got to do is create our sides and our top edge. Now, very easy as well. Let's go back to our gallery. Yeah, I really wish we could drag these things around. That's a little function I wish they'd add here. But go back to our overhead grass tile. And uh, we're going to clone this. And we're actually going to clone it twice. But we're going to start with just this one. Go to Edit. Um, once again, Save. Overhead Grass Tile. And we're going to say Left Edge. Left Edge. Okay. Save to our gallery. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. Uh, using our darker. Just put a nice little edge on here. And remember, this does not have to be too complex. You're really going to do it by feel. Um, it should just feel somewhat natural looking. Um, I always, always just kind of look there. It's like, does that look like a good edge? Yeah, that seems fine to me. Save it. My gallery. Once again, overhead grass tile. Clone. Um, and we are going to edit it. We're going to call this save. Overhead grass tile. Left edge. My naming conventions aren't totally perfect. Left edge. Um, save to gallery. I swear I just did the left edge. This is not the left edge. It is the right edge. No wonder I felt like I was repeating myself. Right edge. Save to gallery. And once again, same thing. So I'll just... Some highlights. Maybe break it up a little bit. And zoom out. Does that look okay? Looks pretty okay to me. Uh, nice and randomized. And it's saved. Okay, so this actually gets us to the part where um, we're going to be moving into beginning the construction process. We got about three more tiles to do. And uh, those are going to be quick and easy. So let's actually uh, wrap up this video right now, and then we will get on to finishing the last three tiles we have to do for our very first basic tile set.